as dictated by interim head coach Serge Dinkota. They go with a 4-3-3. Trey Muse has been outstanding in goal for them. Harvey Neville at left back has been growing a lot. For Colorado Rapids, too, as laid out by head coach Eric Bushy. They go with a 4-3-3 as well. A check of the watch. And there's the opening whistle, and we are in motion in Portland. Two teams with contrasting styles, both looking to jumpstart their season with three big points. Looks like Nunez will take it. Nunez, backside, off the frame of the goal. It hit the crossbar and skimmed out. Really good delivery, back post. Unable to keep the header down. They hit the bar with a header, had another one cleared off the line. This latest delivery, high in the air, toward the penalty spot, flicked along, and it's off the crossbar again. Second time hitting the woodwork. And they pose a threat from these situations. Long outswinging ball. You thought it might be too far. In the end, Frederick. Now Nunez. It's not his best ball, but it might work anyway. Jackson Travis continues it. Vargas returns to Travis, who's made the underlapping run, serving it, and it's on frame. But a save made by Muse. Now Rapids 2 working through the lines. And a strike from distance on frame. Fairly simple for Muse, well hit by Facundo Nunez. Now looking to re release Linares, and it hangs up for him. Linares is in. He squares it for Fugasa. And Nathan Fogasa opens the scoring for Timbers 2. Back to front in an instant. 1-0 to Portland. Without a regulation win so far. But a couple half-hearted shouts for handball. And there is the halftime whistle. And so 45 minutes gone, a collision right at the end there. A couple players staying down for either side. Jackson Travis has gone out of the game, and Patrick Dormo has come on in his place. There's the opening whistle in half number two. Can Rapids two rally? You're on. Chance to burst up the left side for Linares. And now Fugasa. Rapids two a bit stretched. Fugasa cutting infield, spreading it on the right. Arriving there for a right-footed right effort. And the save was made by Ethan Bandre. Didn't control the rebound. Surrounded by Golden Green. And now here goes Vargas. First chance he's had to really burst through the middle. It's still Vargas. Marlon Vargas put it too close to Trey Muse in the end after an outstanding run. Vargas. Let's see if that sparks Rapids too, or if it was just a temporary blip. Timbers too, working between the lines effectively. Here they go through the pocket. Alex Moreno. Still Moreno. Moreno shoots. Save made. Rebound. Stroked home. Second goal for Nathan Fogasa. Two for Timbers, two. And are they headed for their first win of 2024? And it came from the great work from Alex Moreno. Strong shot on target. Palmed away initially by Bandre, but left the rebound on the doorstep. And Fugasa right there again. Search didn't go to another one of his quotables this week. Said, there's no hierarchy in my team. You're either a starter or a game changer. The moment the game kicks off, guys who started have to prove they deserve to start. Now, chance for the hat trick. Big save. Ethan Bandre denies the hat trick for now for Nathan Fogasa. Vargas, whose four goal streak is in real jeopardy. Four game streak, that is. That's back heeled and toward goal. I'm not sure if that came all the way through to Muse, and then Vargas heads it on target, but Muse with a simple take. And it still stays out for Rapids 2 today. And there is the final whistle, and it's the first regulation victory for Timbers 2 in 2024. As their improvement continues, they defeat last year's regular season champs.